This is Ron from Super 8 to Video. This is part one of a series I am doing comparing digital zoom to optical zoom. In this video, I took my camcorder and I set the zoom display to 20 times optical. I turned on the zoom display, which allows me to see how much zoom I am zooming in on each scene. I put my camera on a tripod and zoomed in two times, ten times, and twenty times. This is all done optically. If something is a thousand feet away and you zoom in two times, it makes it look like it is five hundred feet away. If you zoom in ten times, it looks like it is a hundred feet away. If you zoom in 20 times, it looks like it is only 50 feet away. We're going to match what's going to be optically zoomed in over here. And we're going to digitally match it over on this side using the crop and scale mode. We're now going into crop mode. If you look close, this telephone pole here is this point right there. So we'll crop in. This tree is this little point right in here. So we'll crop in there. This tuft of grass here is this point right in here. And this telephone pole right here is just the bottom of this. Now we go to scale mode. This is the point where we start to lose resolution. And it begins to look a little bit blurry. Now I haven't matched it perfectly, but it's close enough that if you start to look, this tree over here is a little clearer than this right over here. If you look real close down here where you can see this white spot right here, it's this blurry white spot right there. If you're on like a small tablet or on a phone, you can't even tell the difference more than likely between these two pictures. Just to clarify what I mean by optical zoom, this camcorder here has a 40 times optical zoom. Watch here as I zoom in and out on the camera. See how the lens is moving back? Now we'll come back in. So basically, this camera is a 40 power telescope. Here's a quick clip from that camera at 40 times zoom. This is the lens I took out of my Super 8 scanner. Notice the glue holding this after they focused it. So there's no way this lens can be zooming in and out like that 40 power camera that I just showed. All of these scanners I am now showing zoom digitally, not optically. Now that we have clarified what optical zoom is, we are back to our film, only this time it is zoomed in optically on the left side at 10 times and on the right side I cropped and scaled just like we did earlier. And as you can see, it becomes very obvious at 10 times zoom at how much better optical zoom is over digital. 
I am now showing the results when we push it to 20 times zoom. Remember how earlier at 2 times zoom you could barely tell the difference? What these scanners depend on that in these lower zoom settings that you can hardly tell the difference. Otherwise, they would have had to have increased the price of the machines dramatically to have made a moving lens that focuses and zoomed like that camera earlier. Since not all digital software is equal, in part three of this series, I take a Wolverine Pro machine, zoom in, and compare it to other digital zooming software. Click on the card now showing to go to part two in this series where I prove these machines have to be zooming digitally. This is Ron from Super 8 to Video signing off.